Use your investigative skills in your in. Here we go with some more Death Note. This is episode 5 called Tactics. Yeah, I think Lightscare needs some tactics. Even though he's doing pretty well. They like they keep parrying and thrusting and, you know, um, Light will play a, an ace and an L will play a double ace. The Light will play, you know, three of a kind. You know, that kind of shit. So, my analogy is wearing out really fast. But you know what I'm saying. Like, the two guys are really smart. I assume that L is much older, which is even more impressive because you can have intelligence, which I consider just to be processing speed. And also, well, I've mentioned this before. Intelligence really is two things. It's processing speed. How fast does your mind process something? And then the other thing is being able to think outside the box. Think of a solution other people don't think about. Think of an angle other people don't think about. Think about a, a clue or a missing link or something that the normal person would present with the same information, would it would not occur to them. That kind of thing. To me, that's intelligence. Intelligence isn't be able to remember historical dates or, you know, that crap. So, but you can have that. So light clearly has it. So does L. They both have their processing speed. They both have that, thing, that ability to think outside the box. The difference is L also has experience on top of that. On top of that beautiful brain of his, he's got experience. He's got knowledge. He's got the books he's read, you know. Part of being able to think outside the box is you look at what people have done before. And Light just hasn't had enough time to do that. He hasn't had enough time to read enough books. He hasn't had enough life experiences. So, they're not evenly matched. Unless L is much younger than we think he is. But let's go ahead and get into this. This is episode 5. We're going on 1. 3, 2, 1. Here's another thing that fooled me, by the way. These goddamn credits. He opens his eye, and you, the eye's red. So I thought that was him having the eyes of the, the god of death, right? Shishami, I think. So uh, that's how they got me. That was another thing. Like, credits, man, they can spoil you, but then also, uh, on the other hand, they can lead you down the wrong path. See, there's his red eyes again, just like, oh boy. Maybe what that means is eventually he gets those eyes anyway. Maybe he gets desperate enough that he'll trade half his life. He'd have to be a really dire circumstance, though. God damn. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, we'll pick up right where we left off. I thought it was some new bullshit, right? <laughs> yeah, of course he won't. <laughs> Maybe his uh, mandate to be secret was more important. Yeah, exactly. Was more important than helping the people, right? Maybe that's why the FBI just didn't shoot that son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you could fucking say so it did. No, a hijacking. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, your story ain't making any sense. Yeah, <laughs> Look at her being all smart and shit. Just hand me the goddamn tea. <laughs> oh, gotcha. God damn. Okay, so now he's just going to be a dick. She's really fucking smart. He's just going to be an asshole. Okay, cool. I guess there's a whole backstory here, but still, he's being a dick. Yeah, you should be sorry, motherfucker. Jesus. You jumped all the way goddamn down her throat. Yeah, that's right. Keep your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, that's smart, actually. Yep. Very smart. He said to eat his ass. <laughs> this is more powerful than I thought it was. Being able to make them do shit before they die. <laughs> this dude's so fucking creepy. Oh, shit. Nice. That's good. That's real good. <laughs> he has a death already set up. He just has that name. He could do it really fast. Ah, I shouldn't have had so much pork. Yeah, that, that's true. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Not anymore, motherfucker. What does he want with all this? Like, why talk to this dude? Uh-oh. I have a question about the death book after this is, episode's over with. Let me remind myself. Yeah, I guess that's his hand, right? Oh, shit. 
Denied. This is risky as fuck. This better be worth it. You better fade back into the darkness, motherfucker. I don't know. This is risky as hell. Fingerprints, DNA. Risky as fuck. Uh, forty seven. You snitch. Some people just don't have... They just do not have professionalism. Oh, shit. He, is he, are those deaths? He's writing in the names and those are the deaths that are going to happen? That's what it is. Holy shit. That's why the, he, he's not officially touching the book because... He's got the, yeah, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. You've seen it before. You know what's happening. I, I get it, too. It's very clever. But if your skin even touches the paper, that's it, man. He, he's part of the book. This is cold-blooded, man. He made that dude kill all those agents. Wow. He's going to figure it out. That's cold-blooded, man. He's probably going to kill this motherfucker now, too. Yep. He's out of here. I knew he had to die. It's too bad, man, because they gave him a little bit of backstory. They gave him a girlfriend and shit. I thought he might live, but I guess not. He's going to see it the last second. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Make those doors go really slow. <laughs> Dick. Well done. All the FBI agents are dead. Yep. Yep. The girlfriend's going to get her vengeance. That's why they introduced her. All these motherfuckers are dead. Well, no fucking shit. I know he's saying the obvious. I do that sometimes too, but still. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, not anymore. He wasn't wrong, but he got outmaneuvered. Yep, can't trust anonymous people. Exactly. So spare me the stories of like assault, you know, sexual assault and shit, because. He's killing motherfuckers indiscriminately. That's just an excuse. He doesn't actually give a shit about crime. <laughs> yep. Use your investigative skills and your anonymity to find this motherfucker. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> I don't know. You say that now. He is ruthless. He has no ruth whatsoever. You just said he was the best cop in the world. Make up your mind, baby. <laughs> yep, he wants him to stay in charge. I don't know how you talk tough down. Yeah. <laughs> He's never going to kill his dad. Not even because he may or may not love him. We don't know. But because it keeps him close to the investigation. You'll be fired, though. She's already started an investigation. She knows this is sus. God damn right. She's on the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was worth the shot. Yeah. That motherfucker's already shown that he'll fucking kill it all if he finds him. Yeah, so L reveals himself and dies immediately. How's that help the investigation? Hell no.
Oh, shit. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. I don't think it matters who the fuck he is. Right. I get it so far. But surely Elle is taking into account what is actually happening here, that one of the family members has access, right? Exactly. It doesn't matter who the fuck he is. Oh, I thought they had decided not to see his face, but clearly not. Damn, dude, at least put some shoes on. Yeah, okay. It's all part of the plan. Okay, I got you. Kick the door and you're under arrest. <laughs> I don't think that's possible with hotel rooms. Unless you have the door cracked open. And we have a cliffhanger. Okay, so I left myself a note here. Um, the question I have is, okay, so... Say I write a name down in the death book. And I want the person to drop dead at noon on Friday. And as I record this, it's Wednesday, okay? So I want him to drop dead two days from now. Go to sleep, wake up in the morning, I'm like, you know what? I've changed my mind. I need this person. I found out some information. They have some information I need. I can't let them die yet. Can I erase the name from the book? Because you can date it ahead. You don't have to date it for right then and there, right? So you can date it two days ahead. Can you then erase from a book? Or once you write the name down, once you're finished with the name and the details, is it ironclad? Is it card laid, card played? That's that's an interesting question. I don't know if they'll ever answer it. I don't know if it'll ever come up. They've had a lot of different iterations of this that have already come up. So I suspect this will come up at some point. Another question. Can you change it? Say I want him to die of a heart attack on Friday. Can I mark out heart attack and put brain aneurysm instead or uh, walks in front of a car, you know? Once you put it in, can you change it? And that's probably the same thing like, you know, racing is also changing it, right? I'm just curious. I'm sure it'll this will either answer it to me or we get to the end and we'll have to speculate on our own. But yeah, uh, that was just something that occurred to me here because like they're really showing a lot of different things you could do with this book that would have never occurred to me.